set two will be played on Naro Station. Spawning in the bottom left-hand position as the Blue Zerg from Samsung Khan. His name is Roro, the last GSL champion from Wings of Liberty. His opponent is going to unite his states pretty soon as he qualified for MLG amongst all Kespa players. His name is Deer, spawning as Red Protoss on the top right-hand position of the map. Is this going to be Deer's first time going to America? I think so. No. Well, I don't know if he went to America when he was little. Let's put it that way. Oh, that's true. As a player, it's going to be his first time. Now, when it comes to StarCraft 2, Roro does lead against Deer 2-0 with the last win being in round number five. Mm, interesting. All right. uh, I thought things were going to get interesting with the early pool or something, but that's well, not the case. Roro's a, Roro's a player who always goes for the gas trick. Yeah, also, notice that the probe is scouting the alternative direction. Generally, it goes to the, the right if you spawn in the top left-hand right position. But going the other way this time still doesn't really mean too much. And yeah, well, let's see what he's going to do with this probe, because, okay, here's the thing. If you hide the probe away from the Overlord, then the Zerg player usually does goes for hatch first, because they don't they don't see any probes. They're not going to see, um, there's not going to be any cannon rush, especially yep. with the probe and being down full first. So now, Deer is working against that fact with Roro going for the 15 hatch and the probe already blocking it. Yeah, so it looks like Roro, he really wants that 15 hatch, but I don't know if he's going to get it, and... No. Even if he does get it, I mean, we may see a Forge Cannon Rush from our Protoss player, Deer. He's got the ability to do it. And uh, never mind, we see a pool go down and uh, a pylon as well to block that hatchery. Like I said, if you don't show the probe, there's no reason for a Zerg player to go for the pool first. Especially knowing that there won't be any Cannon Rushes coming anytime soon. So that's the reason why Deer hit the probe and it worked out perfectly as he denied the expansion early on in the game. However, he also needs to make sure that he gets a forge up in time just to make sure that he could defend against the Zerglings by putting up his own cannons. Yeah, you should. that forge should be done in time. Yeah. Should, uh, it's not going to be a big issue for him because he's going for the forge before mm -hmm. the Nexus. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe he's going to also complete the wall off here or have at least a, a small little spot there. Uh, Deer doing a good job blocking the third as well, but... Uh, it will eventually pop down. Well, actually, the natural, since mm -hmm. he blocked the, the normal natural with his pylon. You know, to be honest, the natural has been delayed for a long time. Now, uh, starting in 2008-2009 season, Wungden Stars participated in Pro League under the name Wungden Stars. Now, um... What was their original name? Now, what, who did they win against in the first game? I think that's what it's saying, but I don't Aww. know if it's the first game that they played or the overall season, but I given, the, given the fact that it's a quiz, it has to be harder, so it has to be Wung, the first team that Wungden starts defeated in Pro League. I bet the, the first team that after they got the names changed mm -hmm. that they, they won against. That's a good question. I don't know. We got two additional Zerglings out on the way with total of eight Zerglings. Now, he's going to abuse the fact that his opponent, Deer, only has one cannon. Yeah, in Total fact, up to 10 out. Zerglings, so he he's really pissed about the fact that there was a pylon at the natural. He really wants to go for the run by and make something happen with the Zerglings. Uh, this could be really bad for Deer if he doesn't realize it fast enough. Yeah, he will. Oh, oh, the probe just a little bit too slow. Yeah, in fact, you should leave a probe at the gap over there until you're sure how many oh, Zerglings there this are. this is bad. Now the cannon oh, is uh, oh. actually focused firing on that mutual building, which means that the Zerglings Re-entry inside the main base. Uh, this is the the price you pay for being just a little bit too greedy. And Deer, I, I don't even think he can defend against these Lings in his main base. That's he too made. many Zerglings. Yeah, he's look at that. He's just sending all of those probes to his natural. And uh, it's, just, it's a bad position for the Protoss player to be in. He's got a Zealot now, so he can defend against this, but he's going to lose so many workers. Look at this. The Zerglings actually getting a good surround, trying to pick off the Zealot as well. It's on low health. The Zerglings, oh, they're going to actually get they get the Zalt. There's only three left, but the Protoss player down to yeah. 20 workers now. And still with three Zerglings, you can snipe the probes one by one. Nine probes have been killed so far with one Zalt. Now he's going for additional probe. Uh, not so great micro with that one, but he did enough damage. Yeah, the Stalker is going to eventually be able to pick off the rest of those, those Can you get one more? And... No. No. Still. 25 to 38 workers. Normally the Protoss player is in a much better position at this point. So. Yeah. Uh, and the advantage that Deer had throughout the whole game because he went for the early block and had early Nexus, boom, gone. Yeah. Now, I have a feeling that 
Now, Robo could have micro his Zerglings a little bit better and could, could have killed a lot more pros. But he killed at, nine, man. He's in a great point, position. He's in a great position still. I'm just saying if he micro just a little bit better, he could have end, ended the game instead of just only getting nine probes. Yeah. All right, well, the Stalker over here going to scare away that Overlord. We do have a Sentry on the way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Rural could have actually kept flooding with Zerglings in one. He could have. But he wanted to play it just a little bit safer. He was going for the aggression, but didn't overcommit. Up to 51 yeah. workers to 33 now. Ouch. That's just and brutal to see from the, the, the Protoss perspective. You don't want to be that far behind against a Zerg early on. Think about this. If the, if Rural decides to go for a Flood of Zerglings, if Deer... If Deer saw that, then he would have built a pylon at the natural, forcing the Zerglings to be trapped outside. So now Rose in a position where he has a lot of Zerglings. He is killing the buildings, but he's not doing that much damage with the Zerglings. In fact, he could have turned those every single Zerglings into the drones, which is what's happening right now. That's why Roro has a, such a huge economic lead against his opponent, Deer. He's grabbing his fourth base as well. I want to point that out. And you know what? He can. I think he can get away with it. He can. He's just. The, like the, the Void Ray will be seen here, but that's it's going to kill off maybe an Overlord or two, but who cares, man? Who cares? Who cares? All you need to do is make more Overlords behind it and make sure it's well fortified inside the main base. And the fort base is going to go uncontested. In fact, Deer is the one who wants to push it out, but he knows that if he tries to go for the fort base right now, he can get the hatchery in the end, but he's going to lose his entire army. Yeah, I think Deer is just going to try to grab his third base he's very fast here. Yes, uh, that's what he has to do. This being scattered so early, though, from the Zergling, uh, we're gonna have to see what the response is from Roro. He may just decide to make a crap ton of roaches and attack his opponent and force yeah. cancel on that third. If Roro lets this third go up uncontested, I feel like that's a mistake. Yeah, well, think about this. You said early third base, but it's still around 9 minutes 30 seconds. We've seen a lot faster third Nexus, but Deer Ooh. couldn't go for it. Four queens in production, Hydrogen on the way as well. I think that. Might. Yeah, it looks like Roro, he's completely yeah. thinking that he's gonna be facing Sky Toss. And that's what he's preparing for. Yeah, well, there's a lot of Phoenixes gathering inside the main base. And that's what Deer wants to do right now. Get a lot of Phoenixes and catch his opponent out of guards so that there won't be any Spore Callers at each base so that the Phoenixes can kill tons of Queens and tons of Drones to buy enough time to get the Sky Toss army out. Yeah, and look at the upgrades here from the Protoss player. Getting the plus one shields and plus one air attack. That's what you do if you want to go into the Sky Toss style. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got to give props to Deer. He's not letting the fact that he lost a lot of workers early on uh, let him, uh, force him to deviate from this build. Now, unfortunately for Deer, everything is being scouted. As soon as he puts down that third base, bam, it's scouted. The double target goes down, scouted as well. Mm -hmm. And this also means that Roro, he's not going to sit inside his main base. He's going to try. He's going to try to stay aggressive throughout the whole game because he knows that if he allows Deer to get a lot of Void Rays out and stack him up. Then there's no. Oh. Then he actually gives Deer a chance to come back into the game. That's the reason why Roro is gathering up his units, and he's gonna go for an attack at the third base pretty soon. Yeah, he's gonna have the plus one range attack finish up, the Hydra speed as well, and you know Deer. I, I like that he's making extra cannons here. He knows that he has to absolutely defend this third base, or there's no chance of him winning. Yeah, but here's the problem. You know, once you go for the Void Waves, you go for Void Waves and Zealous at the same time. But because Deer, he lost so many probes early in the game, he doesn't. He only has one gateway. He has one gateway. He's only relying on the cannons, on the Mothership Core cannon, and a couple of Void Waves against this handful of Hydras. Yeah, and with the supplies being 167 to 97, I just I don't see Deer being able to defend this. Look, the Hydras are just moving in here. They're going to easily snipe off these cannons and uh, those units there. Nexus Cannon does go down. There's a Void Ray, a Stalker, a few additional units coming in, and it looks like it's just enough to hold off the attack for now, but there's a lot of Queens in this army. Wish I could see a little bit more creep spread from Roro, but I guess he's not even really too concerned about that. 11 Queens total yeah. from him. And I would actually love to see a Nidus Worm from Roro to reinforce his army much quicker. In fact, if he's make, building more Queens, it's just going to arrive there as soon as possible, but even at this point, it's really hard for a deer to defend against this attack. That's a lot of queens right there. 32 Hydra supporting this. Yeah. All right, well, here comes the attack from Roro. Uh, the positioning from him, pretty good. Snipes off one of the Void Rays. The cannons aren't finished yet. And deer, I, I just don't think he has enough units to defend against this. Nexus Cannon, what? Nexus Cannon. All Roro has to do is focus fire on those Void Rays and kill the Nexus eventually. As there's still so many queens well, out there. But hold on Roro, a second. Roro, he's actually lost almost all of the Hydras here. There's still Queens left 
transfusions, but you know, the Void Rays, almost all of them have been picked off. The Hydra reinforcements, though, yeah. they're going to seal the deal. The third Nexus goes down. Deer now on an almost unwinnable position. Yeah, and that's because he lost too many Void Rays. GG. GG. Think about this. Even if you lose a Nexus, if you have tons of high damage units out from Protoss player, there have been cases where the Protoss player went for the counter attack and won the game. But Roro, even after losing a couple of Hydras, he killed the Void Rays. Yeah, that's what, that's what mattered in that engagement. So, interestingly enough, we have Shine and Roro taking their games. I thought that Innovation and Deer would end up taking their respective games here, but we're seeing the opposite, and now looking at the matchups, things are looking a lot better for Samsung Khan. And think about this, Samsung Khan, if they lose two games, in a, two games out of the next five matches, they're out no matter what. That's the reason why they're trying their best to stay in early. And you know, beating teams like SDX Soul, that's exactly what they need to do to stay in the runnings. So the score is now 2 to 0 with Samsung Khan in the lead. The next match is going to be Reality versus Trap. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back after this commercial break. <laughs> 